Uh, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. Are you having a good day? No, I hope so. Granny B's having a pretty good day. Are you remembering to be kind to the people around you and to do little things to make your little world a better place? We can all do something, you know. Even if it's a little thing, it counts. Well, <clears throat> do you like to paint? Are you, are you into art and color? Granny B likes to paint on rocks. I like to paint pictures on rocks and I like to give them away to people and and I just I just have fun doing that. I'm not a very good artist, but Lily is a very good artist. And I want to read to you about Lily Brown's paintings. This book is written by Angela Johnson, illustrated by E. B. Lewis. And there's some really unusual art in here. You know, art is like what you see, what you imagine. And I hope you have a good imagination because we're gonna learn about Lily Brown's paintings. I'm out of here. Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother and the world they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room thinking about their world, and it's wondrous. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. Oh, the sunlight turns to stars, and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The stars circle the planets in Lily Brown's paintings. And sometimes they come down to earth and hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. When Lily Brown paints, the trees that she walks past on her way to school wear hats and drink tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery. They know Lily and bow to her. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it is striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people, then laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. In Lily Brown's paintings, the path to the park becomes a wild animal living room with antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone. Lily always remembers to draw them a treat. In Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose-colored winds bring voices from across the ocean to tell stories she has never heard. Then she listens and paints with blues and orange to let the wind know she has heard them. Sometimes Lily herself walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. In Lily Brown's paintings, the colors of people, places, and things change with her heart. People walk upside down, and the buildings on streets dance with airplanes flying above, and it's another world. Lily paints all that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It's magical. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paints away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. It's their world again and it's wondrous. 
wow, what an imagination Lily Brown has. Oh, I hope you enjoy art. I hope you enjoy making colorful paintings or drawings or working with clay. There's so many different avenues where you can use your creative artistic juices and make your world a little more imaginative and colorful and interesting. Something to keep you thinking about how things could be better and how things could be prettier or more colorful. Oh, don't, don't sell art short, my friends, because it gets that other side of your brain working. And we all need to have the other side of our brain working so that we can enjoy every part of this world. Well, you know, Granny B loves you. And you know, I want you to come back and see me again sometime so I can read you another story. Okay? Bye-bye.